Kitty, Kitty Fantastique, and I've got a great video for you today. Now, do you have a multi-pet household where everyone steals everyone else's dinners? Well, I have got the solution to your problem. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Shoreflap Surefeed Microchip Pet Feeder. It's a review plus my top tips and tricks. So are you ready? Are you ready, Rocksteady? Let's go! much to everyone who's been watching my videos and who has already subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, it's super easy. Of course, just hit subscribe and if you also hit that bell, you'll know when I'm uploading new videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a like, maybe share it, and uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. I get so excited when people comment or uh, hit it with a like you would not believe. <laughs> so if you could do that, that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, so I have got three gorgeous, gorgeous rescue kittens. I love them. They're just like the loves of my life, literally. Um, if you can't tell already, see these are the little brooches I make. Because I am a cat lady. I'm not crazy, but I am a cat lady. <laughs> and uh, my three rescue girls, seriously, they are my world. I love them so much. Uh, they're called Ning Nang or Mama Booster. Uh, Chugly or Chugly Bear. Uh, and Tonton, and I love them so much. And you would think, oh my gosh, three electronic pet feeders, that is just like cray cray girl. Why are you spending your money on electronic pet feeders for three cats? But let me tell you, I reckon these have really paid for themselves already a million times over. And this is why. Anyone who has pets will tell you how individual they are. They all have their own needs, they all have their own individual little quirks. And in the case of food, massive differences, yeah? I'm sure you're nodding along, yes, okay? So in my case, I have three cats. They're all related. One is the mum and two are twin sisters. But they are all completely different. They all eat completely different types of food. Some eat a lot, some don't eat enough. And just feeding them out in the open was not working. So my beautiful girl, Chugly, she's my little tuxedo cat. She loves to eat, okay? A little bit too much. And uh, I'm, I put my hand up. I am that cat mom who wants to just, just dinner? give her as much as she wants. I'm really bad. And she just does not have an off button. So if there is more food, Chugly will just keep eating, eating, eating till all the food is gone. And then there's Ning Nang or Mama Booster, who's the mother of my other two cats, and she eats next to nothing. She's like a sparrow, like she eats like two little bickies and then she runs off. Um, and then there's Ton Ton, and she eats something completely different again. It can be chaotic, okay? So multi-pet households can be chaotic when it comes to food time. Okay, so I was trying to find a solution to this problem, and that's when I came across the Shore Flap Shore Feed uh, Microchip Pet Feeder. So to me, the reason why I thought an electronic pet feeder for each cat was a good investment was because overall, I can't be here 24 hours a day. I have a job, I go out of the house, I can't be here all the time to watch what they're eating because some cats will steal other cats' food, some cats will not eat enough, you know, and there's no way for me to tell who's eating what, you know, um, other than their little circumference <laughs> of their belly. <laughs> Now let me say up front, I'm not getting paid for this review. I don't have anything to do with the company that makes this product, so this is an honest review, okay? So this is just exactly what I think about it. But I'm so impressed with this product that I've actually put affiliate links below for you to click straight through to purchase it if you want to, because I really believe it's worth it. The investment is worth it for your pet's health. Let's talk about the product. So these are really easy to use. As you can see, it's pretty lightweight. I'm just like wielding it around here. I'm not super strong. <laughs> I actually invested in one each for my cats. I've got three cats, totally worth it. Um, it's just been the best uh, because each one is sealed. You can see it's got the little plastic lid on there, right? And so once that's sealed, they can't get into each other's feeders. 
this kind of little halo section here is the reader, okay? So that's what reads the microchip that's in your pet. If your pet isn't microchipped, there is also a collar tag that you can put on them to do the same thing. So don't worry if you're saying my cat's not microchipped, um, you can always use the little collar tag. So one of the best things about this feeder is the peace of mind that it gives me when I'm not here. So when I'm not here, I know that all three cats are gonna get enough food. One cat isn't gonna eat all the food and leave the other cats to go hungry. It's important to me to know that everyone's gonna get equal amounts of food when I'm not here because I can't always be here. So that's one of the really important things, I think, for buying a feeder. Now the feeder itself is super easy to use. I'm going to be doing a separate training video. So in the comments below, in the description you know, box below, I'm gonna put a link to my training video for this feeder as well. And in the little box at the end of this video. So when the feeder first arrives, it comes with these gray accessories. So there's a silicon mat and easy to wash. Officially, can't go in the dishwasher, but shh. And it survived. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I also put the bowls in the dishwasher. Again, you're not supposed to. Don't do that, please. Don't do it and say, oh, but Kenny did it. <laughs> but I have done it and they've survived. So. Um, so this is the original set of accessories that come with the feeder. So there is one uh, plastic bowl with a rubber seal on it. There is a mat silicon mat that goes out the front of the feeder and then there's also this split bowl which is good if you wanted to put say um, dry food and water or say wet food and dry food so they're very useful for that as you can tell I love a bit of pink so <laughs> the good news is is that if you love your pet and you want to customize their feeder you can uh, there are pink accessories and other colors as well. Um, I got my girls pink as their extra sets. So there's a pink couple of bowls that go together and also there's a pink mat. So I tend to use the pink sex. I think it's the cutest. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You can always just use the gray set it originally comes with. Now, if you're trying to get your pets used to this feeder, if you've got cats, I would highly recommend as one of my top tips to grab some felly wax. So Philly Way is an analogue of feline facial pheromones. Try saying that three times quickly. <laughs> feline facial pheromones. <laughs> it comes in a couple of different forms and I have two that I would highly recommend. So one of them is the diffuser. Um, I have these all the time constantly anyway. It keeps my girls chilled. You know, I know as soon as my Philly Way diffuser runs out because my girls start in each other, you know? Uh, so yeah, so the Feliway plug-in diffusers are great. Uh, they have got refills as well. I just constantly buy the refills. Uh, they come like that. Easy to um, just unscrew and screw back in, like so. <laughs> See, it just comes like that and you just basically just screw it back in um, and plug it in, that's it. Um, I have them going all the time. But during the training process, um, and just the initial getting used to the feeder process, I would highly recommend that you grab yourself some Felly Way spray. Now the great thing with this is that you can put it around as you need it. So I just get the feeder, you know, and just give it a little, couple little sprays on there. A vet described it to me this way, that when a cat smells Felly Way, it smells like home. So it's like the cat has already scented that particular object, if that makes sense. So when cats scent things, you know, they get that scent back when they smell it again. You know, it's like, oh, this is my thing, you know? So when a cat smells this feeder and it's sprayed with Felly Way, they're like, oh, this is my feeder, yeah. So it's a really good way to get them used to the feeder. Um, it also chills them out, so double plus, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's another one of my top tips. Grab yourself some Felly Way uh, when you first start using these feeders and also in general great to have on hand if you have a multi-cat household So this is Chugley's pet feeder Chugley's pet feeder now. I'm a bit of a DIYer <laughs> and you can see <laughs> I've customized my feeders for my girls. I put their names on the top of each of their feeders Of course don't do that if you've got a kitten that just eats everything, but you know my girls are good girls They will not eat their letters off the top of their feeders <laughs> 
So when I first opened the boxes, I was like, my cats are gonna pick this up just like that. But of course, you know, it doesn't work that way. Um, it took a little while for my girls to get used to their feeders, but now, not phased at all. They're totally cool with them. They use them constantly. Um, they know which is their own feeder as well. That's the amazing thing. And you know what, right? This is the amazing thing. Um, I can leave, like sometimes I, I can accidentally leave one of the feeders open. They don't even steal the food from the open feeder. That's not their own. They've been so like used to which is their own feeder um, and that the other feeders don't open for them that they didn't even steal from the other open feeder. So to me, that is like success. <laughs> um, don't rush them when they're training. Go through the training steps. It's really important to go through the training steps, but it will give you the maximum amount of success with your pet using the feeder. And you know what? The fact that they come with pink accessories, well, that's just a bonus. <laughs> okay, so you've decided, yes, my multi-cat household needs these feeders. I have a problem this is gonna solve it. Then, good news, I've popped all the links in the comments below, I've done all the work for you. All you have to do is just click straight on through. There'll be links there for the feeder, um, for the accessories, there'll be links there for the fellyway, there'll be links there for the cat foods that I like to give my girls, and anything else that I think might be useful to you um, with this product, I'll pop in the comments below. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I would love it if you check those out. They are affiliate links, uh, means I get a tiny proportion of that and that helps me feed my fur kids and my rescue babies. Uh, so I'd really appreciate it if you did use those links, that would be amazing. Or a meow. Thank you. And guys, don't forget to check out the training video for this feeder in the comments below and also I'll link it at the end of this video. If you did enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit it with a like, maybe drop me a comment and share it on, that would be the best. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, all you have to do is just hit subscribe and then if you also hit the bell, you'll know when I upload new videos. <gasps> all right guys, have an amazing or a meowsing week and I'll see you all again really soon.